Whether it is rain or snow, any form of water is worrisome right now for some Minnesota cities. Uh, still water is one of those cities. It is bracing for major flooding on the St. Croix River. Local leaders are already considering a state of emergency. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us how they're trying to get ahead of this rising risk. Downtown Stillwater is so unique. Nestled between bluffs on the St. Croix River. Our building is 1888, so it's seen many floods. Stillwater is no stranger. Water is no stranger to flooding. Pretty much uh, every spring for sure. Leo's Grill and Malt Shop relies on a sump pump in the basement every year. But this year, the flooding outlook is bleak. Everybody east of Main Street is going to have a wet basement. That forecast holds true to be the most significant flood we've had in 22 years. Mayor Ted Kozlowski says work begins now. MnDOT will secure the iconic lift bridge, and boats at the marina will be launched into the water. It's really hard because all of those boats are at a place that's going to be underwater. The city will soon start constructing a massive sandbag levee spanning the length of downtown along the river. It'll be 15 feet tall, so two feet higher than this clearance bar at the lift bridge. You know, sadly, we're getting really good at doing it, but it's a big disruption in our park. I mean, we have to close down parking lots. We have to close our parks. You know, it's not exactly a pretty thing. A small price to pay as they prepare for the worst and hope for the best. I really appreciate the city stepping up and being conservative and, and being, um, you know, ready to go um, already here in March for uh, what potentially could be a problem, but also could potentially be in Stillwater. Just another spring in Stillwater. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The next flood outlook comes out on Thursday, and that is when work is expected to begin on securing the lift bridge. The city is asking for volunteers to help begin sandbagging next Monday.